हेलो मीडियंस वेलकम वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट सेशन ऑफ केवीपीवाई एंड टुडे सेशन इज वेरी स्पेशल बिकॉज इट इज गोइंग टू डील विद केवीपीवाई क्वेश्चंस इज गोइंग टू हेल्प यू बूस्ट योर परफॉर्मेंस फॉर द अपकमिंग केवीपीवाई एग्जामिनेशन सो वेलकम अबाउट दिस इज श्रेयस हियर योर मास्टर टीचर फॉर फिजिक्स एट वेदांतु एंड इन केस यू आर न्यू यू कैन जस्ट चेक इट आउट हाउ आई एम एंड व्हाट आई हैव बीन डूइंग सो गाइस आई एम जस्ट a teacher who teaches you physics but in a very different way i help you visualize things and i pretty sure most of you have seen me in some or the other batches and in case you haven't no problem so guys i have been teaching for quite some time and i love physics and i love teaching that's why i'm here and i left my corporate job for that by the way anyways uh, so many students under me have cracked the IITJ examination be it mains or advanced and also many students have even cracked the KVPI examination so i hope that you too will crack the KVPI examination which is going to be conduct conducted in our next few weeks and do not worry you are not late you can still do it all you need is if you have just prepared for JE or if you are preparing for JE that's enough because the portions for KVPI and JE are similar the level of questions is somewhere between mains and advanced all right they mainly concentrate on the basic concepts so the best way to prepare for a kvpy exam is by solving previous years papers that's about it so just solve the previous years papers brush up on your je concepts and that's it you don't need any special coaching or you don't need any special uh, kind of kvpy book just the previous years papers and the je concepts all right so welcome everyone hello science priya kirito shreya uh, there are i think two shreyas out here Uh, well hello jumna hi prensi hi aishwarya hello everyone welcome welcome everyone hi ankit long time okay so okay thank you jumna the dance was awesome i i'm not sure how many of you have seen the dance and by the way that was just to tell you guys you guys are more talented than what uh, at least i am and i hope to uh, see some really great winners because vedantu was just conducting you know a, a most amazing contest called as the vedantu talent uh, competition so vedantu's got talent competition and in this talent competition there are many segments like dance singing poetry painting you name it coding innovative ideas and all that so this was just a promotional video i did so that everyone votes for their friends and uh, relatives whosoever it is and make sure that your friend or your relative or your colleague or your batchmate wins that competition so the first round was over and now the next round is going to be conducted so based on voting and stuff like that thank you thank you everyone i'm i know that many of you are here from instagram many of you are here from some other channels out here uh welcome prasad hello and many of you are there right from before uh, on this channel so it's really good to see that this family is growing like really crazy and by the way this 31st 6 o'clock there is going to be a special session with me all right so special session with your favorite shreya sir guys at 6 o'clock so guys minions be there because all the 12th standard students is going to be very important for you because it is going to be a very important announcement yes from the minister himself the dates are going to be announced on 31st evening and probably i will also wish you guys a very happy new year then so do not forget to attend that special session on 31st around 6 o'clock all right okay so now let's get going and by the way in case you want to check out more stuff which i keep putting and keep posting and if you want to stay updated with my life and my adventures guys you need you know where to follow me guys you can just follow me on stress_vedantu that's my instagram handle so just go ahead click follow button out there and also if you are a new user if you are a first time user out here on our channel so do not forget to hit the subscribe button because that's the only way you will be getting all the updates important videos notifications etc pertaining to je kvpy boards etc and if you are already here and already subscribed then do not forget to smash that like button guys because unless you smash that like button understand youtube won't recommend you our videos and also i won't get the energy required to conduct these classes remember these classes are for free so at least the least you can do is you know hit that like button out there hello akshat hello khushi hello yasmi hello uma hello pravinshi welcome everyone welcome 
Okay, so let's begin with our session, guys. Lot of questions coming in, but before that, let me also tell you this week's timetable. This week's timetable is going to look something like this Monday, that is today, we are going to do fluids error measurement KVPY session. Tomorrow, we are going to start with SHM session one of SHM, all about linear oscillations. Then we are going to go to phasers and energy methods, some very important techniques and important pointers out here as well. And Thursday, we're going to have the lecture at two o'clock, not at seven o'clock because of the special announcement that is going to be conducted. So I understand the lecture has been shifted to two o'clock in the afternoon, angular SHM, and we'll continue with SHM in the next week as well. And remember magnetism was started last week. So continuation of that, we're going to talk about magnetic properties, magnetic materials, those diamagnetic, etc., all those stuff. And also we're going to talk about magnets. It's going to be a marathon session. So guys, do not forget to bring your sandwiches and juices out there. All right. And the menti quizzes. So tomorrow you have the math menti quiz at 11 o'clock. And then Thursday you have in the morning, eight o'clock. So guys, do not forget to wake up in the morning, physics menti quiz, elasticity errors and measurement and Sunday chemistry menti quiz at nine o'clock. All right. So let's begin guys. I hope the Josh is high. Let me know. Hi Dinesh. Hi Asmi. Hi Harshal. Hello everyone. I hope everybody's Josh is high and you're going to stick till the end because a lot of amazing fancy questions, interesting questions coming up. All right. Hi Josh. Guys, remember one thing, I wouldn't know you are here unless and until you keep chatting with yourselves and you know, unless and until you post something on the chat box. So the only way you can mark your attendance is by keep commenting whenever you have that free time. Don't waste too much time commenting because then, you know, you will not be able to make your notes. So don't forget that you also need to make notes. And by the way, also join the telegram group guys where you will get all the important updates. The link is in the description box below. Okay, let's start with our session today. So a very interesting question. Uh, it's about rainfall. All right. And this was asked in 2019. Mumbai needs 1.4 into 10 to the power 12 liters of water annually. Its effective surface area is 600 square kilometers and it receives an average rainfall of 2.4 meters annually. If 10% of this water, if it is conserved, then how much percentage will it meet of the total requirement of water? Very interesting question. Let's solve this. Let's solve this. Let's begin. Okay. Now, some of you might want to solve this question separately without my help. That's okay. Guys, you can keep solving it. But those of you who think, uh, who want to learn and want to see my approach or probably are stuck somewhere, don't worry. Don't hesitate. You have come here to learn. So pay attention to the way I solve. All right. So let's begin today's first question, guys. So how much water will be required? Uh, how much percentage does it meet? Now, there are certain things I will keep in mind. Many units are used. One is liters, there is kilometers, there is meters, so many different units. We need to first stick it, stick to some standard unit. So for that, I will first write it down over here. 1000 liters is one meter cube. All right. I will need this guys. So I'll tell you where I'll need it. Now think about it. If the effective area of Mumbai is 600 kilometers square. Okay. And I tell you the water, which falls annually is around 2.4 meters. I can think of a volume, something like this. All right. Think of a volume, something like this, whose height is exactly 2.4 meters. Now think whatever is the volume of that rain accumulated over here. So how much rain gets accumulated? So volume of rain will be 600 kilometers square, but one kilometer is thousand, which is 10 to the power three meters, but square. So that two over there into the height. Now that height is 2.4. This is in meter cube but I can write it as 600 into 10 to the power 6 into 2.4. This 10 to the power 3 this whole square is 10 to the power 6. Remember, this is meter cube. I want to convert it into liters. So if this is in meter cube, I want to convert it into liters. Guys, think about it. What I should do? I should multiply it by 1000, correct? So into 10 to the power 3, that will be in liters. Now, 10% of this rain, 
so 10% of the volume of rain all right so 10% of this will be one tenth of this so it will be 1 by 10 into 600 into 10 to the power 6 into 2.4 into 10 to the power 3 you can just rearrange it a little bit and you can write it as 6 into 2.4 into these two zeros uh, sorry one zero and one zero will cancel and four uh, one zero here three zeros here will make it four four plus six is ten so it will become ten to the power ten now how much percentage will it meet so how much percentage are you meeting so percentage met will be how much rain you are collecting you are collecting 6 into 2.4 into 10 to the power 10 this is the amount you collected upon how much is required how much is required 1.4 into guys 10 to the power 12 but percentage met that's why into 100 I hope you understood this this is how much is conserved this is how much is required so how much percentage is met by conserving that much will be this by this into 100 I hope this is clear so we were supposed to find how much percentage will it meet how much percentage will it meet yes so this value comes out to be 10 percent approximately that's the answer approximately because that's what the question reads I hope this is clear so these kind of questions also come they want to check whether you can uh, you know calculate simple percentages division multiplication unitary method and given a unknown scenario how your mind works they always check the application of basics this is something which you would have learned in 10th 9th etc how to calculate volume area into height so 10% of that how much percentage is met so these are basic stuff they just check whether you are able to apply on an unknown scenario that's all okay so guys be careful don't get scared remember these kind of questions do come in the examination so the answer for this is 10% of the Mumbai's water needs will be met if you conserve only 10% of the water all right so if you consider all the per, uh, all the water then i think you will meet the entire percentage is this clear shall we go ahead to the next question guys come on let's get ready so a specially designed vernier caliper has the main scales least count as one millimeter on the vernier scale there are 10 divisions and they match with the 11 divisions of the main scale all right then the least count of the vernier caliper is ignore the spelling mistake so these are the options in case you want to start solving it go ahead but in case you feel that i do not know or you know uh, there is some kind of a hesitation don't worry guys i am there i'm going to solve the question for you meanwhile parallelly you can start solving all right so let's begin with the next question now so guys this is a specially designed vernier caliper it has the main scales least count as one millimeter okay so let's draw the main scale so this is the main scale and let's say this is zero and the vernier scale there are 10 divisions they match with the 11 divisions of main scale so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay and 11 all right so let me just put it over here that will be better 0 and this is 11 so this is your main scale guys now the next thing is vernier scale correct so guys i'm doing it slowly because i want everyone to understand this okay so vernier scale is divided into 10 parts and this 10 parts coincide with the 11 parts of the main scale so just think about it if this is the vernier scale and you divide it into 10 parts so something like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so this is 0 this is 1 this is 9 and this is 10 so the logic for solving these kind of questions is first find how much is one division of vernier scale how much is one part of vernier scale so it is actually 11 millimeters divided by 10 parts look at that there is 11 millimeters which is divided into 10 parts so 11 millimeters divided by 10 which is 1.1 millimeter guys next thing how much is one division of main scale oh one division of main scale has to be one millimeter so guys i have given you the formula for least count so what is the formula for least count 
the formula for least count is the subtraction of these two the modulus so that's it just subtract these two and the modulus so bigger minus smaller you can take and that's it it will become 0.1 millimeter that's the answer guys 0.1 millimeter or 0 0.01 centimeters is that clear so use standard formulas and you will get it no problem Gunit. even if you are joined now no problem you just miss one question don't worry and some brief introductions etc all right join in there are a lot of questions coming up for all of you all right let's begin to the let's go ahead guys now to the next question the correct answer was 0.1 millimeters like i said okay so let's solve this question very interesting question asked in 2018 so guys even if you're joining in new don't worry okay so a block of wood is floating on water at zero degree celsius interesting with volume v naught above the water okay volume v naught above the water when the temperature of water increases from zero to ten then the change in the volume of the block that is above the water is best described by which of the following graphs by the way let me tell you in case you are new or you are attending this lecture for the first time guys in detail i have covered all the chapters okay of fluids errors elasticity etc mechanical properties and you can find it in the playlist on this very own channel of yours v enthuse go check it out after today's session is over i have covered all the concepts properly so in case you want to uh, revise all these things you feel that there's something which is missing in your knowledge don't worry go check out all the videos i've explained every theory part beautifully in detail okay so let's have a look guys let's have a look okay so guys here is the thing first first remember the water is at zero degree celsius initially and the temperature increases from zero degree celsius to 10 degree celsius in between i will also mark four degree celsius and here i will mark the density of water now how does the density of water change as you change the temperature interesting scenario so the temp as you increase the temperature the density increases and then decreases it is in fact highest at 4 degrees celsius remember that this is a graph which you should know now if you have been attending my lectures carefully then i have discussed one thing if this is the liquid okay surface this is the liquid surface understand there is some part above it and some part below it when a solid is floating this fraction depends on the densities of the liquid and the solid so for example if the density of ice if it is 900 and if the density of water example is 1000 then check this ratio check this ratio guys this is 0.9 or this is 90 percent the ice is 90 percent heavier than water then exactly 90 percent will be inside and 10% will be outside remember that okay 10% of the volume will be up 90% will be inside this is a trick which you can use now if, for normal problems also oh i should i think the options c and d were very similar uh, so ignore that i'll come to it in a bit and what you should do in such cases in the examination also i'll tell you hold on hold on okay now the thing is the density of water this density it's clearly mentioned this density increases and it decreases this is anomalous behavior of water so if this density increases and decreases what will happen guys this percentage that you see over here this percentage think about it that uh, earlier it was 90 percent because it was thousand now if this becomes thousand one hundred thousand two hundred etc this percentage will be less so this percentage will decrease and then increase think about it see 90 or 900 of 1000 is 90 percent correct but 900 of 1010 or 1020 won't be 90 percent it will be slightly less than 90 percent 89 88 so lesser percentage will be inside and again as the density starts decreasing again it will go back so this percentage obviously has to then increase first and then decrease I hope you understand this logic. 
Did you understand this logic, guys? Yes, Shreya, I will definitely upload the PDFs. Don't worry, all the PDFs get uploaded. Guys, remember, many of you are asking where are the PDFs? The PDFs of everything gets uploaded in the description box of every video. The extracts get uploaded uh, at the end of a chapter, not the first lecture, the last lecture of the chapter. Okay, so guys, it should increase. The answer for this should increase and then decrease. So hence, this is the correct answer. Now, many of you are asking, sir, what is the difference between C and D? Now, it looks like both of them are same, but I know that the answer is neither C nor D. So, in case it happens in the examination, that there are two options which are similar, or there is something weird in one option, but that is not correct, don't bother. Because that is not even the correct answer, right? So, why are you bothering about it? The correct answer is this. So, even if C and D are similar or something is weird in these options, don't bother because it's not even a correct answer. So, just forget and go ahead, mark option A and get, get going with the next question. Is that clear everyone? I hope you understood this. These are very important tips for the examination. Shall we go ahead guys? I hope the Josh is high. And hit the like button for all the tips that I'm giving you. If you have not hit the like button guys, come on, go ahead, hit that like button out there. All right, very good, very good, Gunit, very good. Saurav, Sianz Priya, Aishwarya, VK channel, excellent, 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 Fida. Okay, here's the next question. Very interesting question. There is a very large block of ice, which is of the size of volleyball court and uniform thickness of eight meters. It's floating in water. A person standing at its edge wishes to fetch a bucket full of water using a rope. The smallest length of rope required for this is about how much is the smallest percentage of rope that is required come on think about it think about it okay okay so i'll be solving the question guys i have just shown you the options in case you want to continue solving on your own definitely go ahead you can check the answer once i give you the solution but for all those who have come here to learn and probably have some fear about fluids and errors don't worry i'm here Guys, don't hesitate. It's okay. I know you have come here to learn and that's why I'm going to teach you how to do this problem. So guys, first let's understand how does the diagram look like. So let's say this is the liquid. Okay. And there is some ice which is floating. So this is that ice block. Now this height is given to be 8 meters. This height is given to be 8 meters. Now, if there is a person out here, so let's say there is a Pandu out here and this Pandu wants to fetch a bucket of water from here, okay, he's standing at the edge of that ice block. So how much is the minimum length of the rope required as the question? So guys, here is my logic. If I know how much is this height, I can easily find how much is this height and how much will this height be? What did I just tell you? If you know the densities, that's enough. Ice has an approximate density of 900. Water has an approximate density of 1000. What is this ratio? 90%. Look at this. This ratio is 90%. That means 90% is inside water. That means how much is outside? 10% is outside of water. And the rope that you are going to need, guys, obviously, the rope that you are going to need will be obviously 10% of the total 8 meters, correct? So how much is 10% of 8 meters? 0.8 meters. So this is basically the minimum length of the rope which you will need. Anything more than this will do. So the minimum will be anything slightly more than 0.8 meters. I hope this is clear. Yes, Pramesh, you can definitely Definitely, there is a long, long way to go ahead. Five months is more than enough if you have already prepared or you have been preparing for J mains. Don't worry about this, okay? Don't worry, just stay tuned. Have faith, have full bharosa, have that confidence. You can do it and you will do it. And I'm there only so that you guys can crack J mains, J advance, bit sat, CT, boards, KVPY, everything. I'm going to make sure you guys are going to crack it. Okay, so 0.9 is the answer guys, because anything more than 0.8, if you look at the options by the way, they were like this. So anything more than 0.8, so this is the answer, the least possible value. Okay, so that's the answer guys. I hope everyone is clear, 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 clear. Yes, you can do it. Yes, I'm talking about J advance only Pramesh. 
the advance is far, far long way to go don't worry first clear j means first clear kvpi first clear ct first clear boards all these are important don't worry we are there five months is more than enough don't worry all right okay so by the way for all the people who still want lot of other stuff like micro courses assignments and you want lot of problems to practice from something called as the tatva booklet and you want dedicated person to solve all your doubts yes dedicated per people to solve all your doubts which you might have because understand lot of questions lot of doubts and you need to make sure all your doubts are clear then guys let me tell you about the pro subscription course as well remember this pro subscription will not only help you crack j mains or j advance there are regular batches there are crash courses in it there is doubt solving there is test series till the end not just for next one two weeks there is also assignments booklets everything that you get in this course you don't have to run around for different things for example you want to prepare for boards you don't have to hire a separate tutor for that there is a boards related course as well in this there is boards related preparation also in this so everything gets covered you don't have to run around you don't have to pay anything extra so if you are a 11th standard student and a 12th standard student let me tell you the prices first for the 12th standard students guys there is 20% offer running right now so if you take it for the next 3 months the price is 21000 but after discount you'll get it for 16800 when you apply the coupon codes which i'm going to give you shortly so 20% off and for the 11th standard students uh, remember uh, j2022 aspirants the 6 month price is 24000 so after discount of 20% you will get it for 19200 and per day cost is 107 rupees all these costs everything are mentioned in the link below even there is a course for droppers as well so guys everything is mentioned in the link below do not forget to see the link in the description after the session is over okay and do not forget to use the coupon code shhpro where you will be getting 20% straight off on any pro subscription that you will be availing so read everything carefully think about it how many months you need how many months you want to try out etc so based on your requirement there is always a subscription available for you yes okay so yes kirito the uh, christmas sale is over christmas sale is over yeah yeah very good line saurabh yes definitely definitely saurabh jab mera hai saath to darna hai kis ke liye yes yes definitely definitely don't worry guys i'm going to be there not just till j mains or j advance i'm going to be there even after that we are going to conduct counseling sessions also we are going to be there even for the 10th standard students who will be preparing them for the 11th standard then the 12th we are not going anywhere we are going to be there always for you remember that uh ratan just ping me i mean uh see ratan you have to enroll into the classes once you have subscribed you have to enroll into the batches understand so it's just like when you enroll into uh, amazon prime so the movies won't play automatically you have to go and watch that movie so same way go watch that movie go watch that course once you enroll it i hope i have answered your doubt ratan okay let's let's get going okay Acha you got the October session Ratan maybe I I think you got some misclick or something like that so maybe you should just contact the tech team or your Sam there is a some person dedicated for all these kind of things if there is some you know course related mismatch which just happened don't worry about it you can get enrolled in the right batch don't worry just write a mail and just call the people and if still doesn't get solved just uh, ping me on Instagram or something I'll definitely help you out okay Ratan or just put it up in the comments below the YouTube Okay so let's get going with the next question very nice question 2017 question Bhagirathi Alaknanda meet at Devprayag and they form Ganga by the way this is an actual question which was asked in KVPY and the ratios of the speeds the ratio of the areas everything is given out here okay everything is given out here so the question is find the ratio of the speed of Ganga to Alaknanda very interesting question these are the options think about it i'll start solving the question for you okay so first let's draw these rivers very interesting so bhagirathi and alaknanda okay they meet 
this is Bhagirathi and Alaknanda. So this is Bhagirathi and this is Alaknanda. And they meet at Devprayag, that's the uh, meeting point, and they form Ganga. Okay. Now, let's mark whatever we know. Their speeds are in the ratio of 1 is to 1.5. Bhagirathi's and Alaknanda's speeds are in the ratio of 1 is to 1.5. So, Bhagirathi's speed is V. Alaknanda's speed is 3 by 2 V. 1.5 is 3 by 2. The cross-sectional areas of Bhagirathi, Alaknanda and Ganga are in the ratio of 1, 2 and 3. So, if this is A, this is 2A and this is 3A. Okay, now I know what to do. I think I should use equation of continuity. So water flowing in from here and here should be the liquid which is flowing out from here with let's say speed V1. So water flowing in rate will be area into velocity plus this area 2A into that velocity which is 3V by 2. Remember area of cross section into velocity gives you volume flow rate and in case you want to see how it happens and what are the different formulas do not forget to check out the fluids related playlist after the session ends so these two will be equal to 3a into v1 now aaa goes now 2 2 cancels so v plus 3v will be 4v is equal to 3v1 therefore v1 will be 4 by 3v but be careful 4 by 3 might be there in the option, but that's not what has been asked. The question is something else. Speed of Ganga. What is speed of Ganga? V1. Upon the speed of Alaknanda. What is the speed of Alaknanda? 3V by 2. That's what has been asked. So this will be 2V1 by 3V. And we know what is uh, V1 guys. V1 is 4V by 3. So it will be 4V by 3. And that V is also there. VV cancels and you will have 8 by 9 as the answer. I hope this is clear how this question has to be solved. Interesting, interesting. So a lot of fun stuff which comes up uh, in the KVPY exam. By the way, there is a blood pressure related question also that I have planned today. So stay tuned guys. All right. All right. A lot of my Drishti B batch students are also uh, here. Nice to see my regular students also joining in like Amrita I can see. Very good, very good. Keep it up. Amazing question this is. Lot of people messed up this question by misreading or missing the relevant information. Some of them marked 4 is to 3 and all that. Okay. So let's get going to the next question. Yes, magical paintbrush. Nice to see you back out here. Very good question. If you want to start solving the question, go ahead, start solving it. But for others, I'm going to solve it on the board slowly out here. So this is an experiment in which the mass is measured by applying some known force on it, the measuring and then measuring how much acceleration is produced. If in that experiment, the measured value of the force and acceleration is so and so, what is the mass of the object? These are the options. These are the options. Let's see how many of you can post uh, the final answer before I complete. Obviously, I'm going to be a little bit slow because I'm going to be explaining, but still, Pose the answers in case you get it, all right? So let's do this. The mass has to be measured. Remember, force is mass into acceleration. Therefore, mass is force divided by acceleration. Now, for solving these type of questions, remember, we need to use this formula where I first convert this into power form. So it is actually F raised to 1 into A raised to minus 1. So whichever quantity you are finding out, write it as the powers, write it as the product of powers of each dependent quantities like this and then write this error formula. In case you have missed this class, don't worry, you can always watch it in the playlist, it's there. Um, I've talked about how to use this formula in detail. Okay, but right now, delta m by m, the formula goes like this. The powers modulus value, one's modulus is one. So one into delta f by f plus powers modulus minus one's modulus is again one remember always take the modulus don't take minus one then you will get a wrong answer and into delta a by a now in this formula you know everything delta delta a f delta m is what we need to find but m also i don't know so first figure out how much is m 
So guys, M will be F by A. What is the force? Most probable force? 10. What is the most probable acceleration? 1. So it will be 10 kg. Okay, so 10 kg is the most probable mass. Now just substitute all these values guys. Nothing else is there. So delta M by 10 will be delta F. Delta F is 0.2 by 10 plus delta A is 0 0.01 divided by A which is again 1. Now this will become 0 0.02. 0 0.02 plus 0 0.01 kids. How much will it be? It will be 0 0.03. So it will be 0 0.03. That is delta m by 10. So guys, what is going to happen? Delta m is going to be 0.3. So my final answer will be 10 plus or minus 0.3 kg. That's the answer. I hope everyone is understanding this. Hello, Kushbu, join in. All right, all right, Thalmai, all right, Fida, Shreya, Yasni, Gunit. Science Priya, Dinesh, Aishwarya, very good, very good, very good. Many of you have already answered. Hello, Frederick Prabhu, welcome, welcome. By the way, guys, let me not forget to tell you, in case some of you have missed it, on 31st, 6 o'clock, just around 6 o'clock, there is going to be a very special session conducted by me. Do not forget to attend that, especially if you are in 12th or going to give the boards the very next year and it's also going to be a happy new year session from me so maybe you might see me interacting casually if i have that time as well because that will be the last session guys from my side this year you know so do not forget to attend that i'll be meeting you after that next year only all right all right so let's get going to the next question this was the answer which i just told you okay very good question Guys, what did I tell you? A question on blood pressure. Look at that. 2019, they asked a question on blood pressure. A lot of people thought, oh my God, I have not studied bio or maybe I don't know bio. Guys, it's got nothing to do with bio and all. You can solve this question. Read it carefully. You will get the answer. Let, let's see how to do this. Very interesting question. So there is a healthy adult. Uh, there is a healthy adult of height 1.7 meters. Wow, looks scary, guys. And it feels like um, there is some hole in his heart and all that. And he he does not have hands. I mean, it looks very funny. Okay. But still, the heart is typically at a height of 1.3 meters from the foot. Take the density of blood to be so-and-so. Note that 100 millimeters of mercury is approximately 13.3 kilopascals. The ratio of blood pressure at the foot and at the head is approximately what is the ratio value approximately yes he's a ghost and he's healthy according to the question i think some information was missing that he does not have hands okay or maybe he's holding his hands behind i don't know okay easy one Achha. and by the way you can tell me which was your scariest movie that you have ever seen in the chat box and if you don't like scary movies, then you can also post that in the comment and if you have not watched it. All right. So let's solve this question. Uh, first, what will be the pressure at the head? So the pressure at the head will be the pressure at the heart minus something, rho g h. Why that? Remember, as you go up, the pressure decreases. As you come down, the pressure increases. So pressure over here will be pressure at the heart minus rho g h so what is ph average pressure has is 100 millimeters of hg Achha. but it's also mentioned 100 millimeters of hg is equal to 13.3 kilopascal so why can't i write this as 13.3 into 10 to the power 3 pascals just convert it into good units guys minus rho what is rho 10 to the power 3 what is g 10 and what is this height okay this is 1.7 this is 1.3 so this should be 0.4 meters isn't it and therefore i should put 0.4 here and this will be 13.3 minus 4 and into 10 to the power 3 which is nothing but yes 9.3 kilopascal that is what i'm going to get similarly 
think what will be the pressure at the foot what will be the pressure at the foot it will be pressure at the heart plus rho g h now again substitute everything it is 13.3 kilo pascal plus rho is 10 to the power 3 g is 10 height is 1.7 just check this out guys just check this out how much are you getting how much are you getting let me know are you getting it around check it check 17 plus 13 come on guys check it out oh sorry i took 1.7 this was not this total height it should be 1.3 my bad it's from the heart till here i took the total height so sorry this should be 1.3 yeah so it should be 13 plus 13.3 so that will give make it 26.3 kilo pascal just check it out now just find the ratio so just find the ratio so the ratio which you want to find is approximately what uh foot upon head so foot is this upon head how much is the head head is 9.3 that's it that's what you need to find okay so no scary movies and kirito obviously has a japanese movie jumna does not like scary movies prakash likes haunted nights jumna loves scary movies kujbu likes annabelle keshav says the shining oh poke tech which was that comedy horror movie that you saw Paulette well, Dinesh says the nun. Science we are conjuring one. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Interesting. Exorcism of Emily Rose. Achcha and Exorcist. Yeah, all those series. Achcha. Yeah. My name pronunciation is Yal. Yal Ini. All right. So I think there are some silent alphabets. Yal Ini. All right. So I'll keep it in mind. So Khushbu and others are asking me what are your favorite horror movies. So my favorite horror movies, IT or IT, uh, then obviously Conjuring, then there was this Grudge and then I also saw uh, one recent movie. Uh, uh, it was like the, the Wiling or something. It was a Korean movie. Recently I saw it. It's very beautiful. It was there on Netflix or Amazon Prime. I don't remember. Yeah, the yes. And the dark web is not scary exactly. But yes, I do love uh, Christopher Nolan's movie as well. Oh, how can I forget Prevention Lakshmi Bomb? It was so scary. How many of you have seen Lakshmi Bomb, guys? It was so scary. I got so scared. I really fell off my chair. If you have not watched it, please watch it. It's very scary. Very, very, very scary. It's so scary. Oh my God. Achha. And how many of you have watched Courage the Cowardly Dog? It used to be a cartoon. Supposedly a scary cartoon. Achha, Yalni has watched it in Tamil. Actually, it's a Tamil movie, I know. Aishma, it's very scary, yaar. I, what are you saying? It's so scary. I got so scared. Achha. <laughs> okay, okay. Cool, cool. Let's get going to the next question. Meanwhile, oh, by the way, the ratio was 3. So here is the next question. If you sit with in the room with windows open and if it's a ghost story, for sure those windows are going to shake. They are going to make some crazy noises. That's what happens in all the horror movies. You know, so I never really understood why in scary movies, why people are so courageous from where do they get so much of courage and the guts to actually go towards the noise. I mean, come on, think about it. How many of you will actually uh, go to the next room in the midnight if something drops and you hear some weird noise are you going to go in the dark like that to the next neighboring room if some noise comes out how many of you will have that courage to actually do that uh, if this happens with you not at all yeah tanmay says yes never khushbu tanmay has some uh, guts all right all right okay uh, no, Bhargav, today's session is not related to ghosts, but it just ended up being scary. All right, come on. Meanwhile, start solving the question, guys. Okay, okay. Especially people living in Mumbai and uh, other busy cities like Kolkata, they'll say, sir, we can't hear the noise of a vessel or anything falling in our next room because there is so much noise of traffic, even in the midnight. So forget it. We are not going to hear anything. 
Okay, Jumna has some ghosts in the chat box, all right. <laughs> Okay, so a lot of you are saying B. Okay, so the correct answer is actually B. So guys, understand the air pressure on the floor of the room equals the atmospheric pressure, but the air pressure on the ceiling is negligible. No, all these things are wrong. See guys, when you are inside the room, the pressure of the air acts everywhere on the top, at the bottom, on the side walls, everywhere it will act. But understand the pressure at the top and at the bottom won't be exactly the same because of rho gh but that rho is the density of air now density of air is very small that means the pressure difference at the top and bottom will be almost equal but not exactly the same so the air pressure is nearly the same on the floor the walls and the ceiling yes it's nearly the same because there is height variation and it's not definitely zero so that's why the correct answer is b i hope this is clear so the timing of the marathon series is going to be seven o'clock till almost nine o'clock so what is the use of uh, open windows it was just to confuse you you might just think of some weird thing like oh if the windows are open then the answer will be different if the windows are closed then the answer will be different nothing guys it's going to be the same don't worry about it okay so because the air is going to escape from somewhere from the stairs from the doors even if you close the windows do you think if you close the windows the answer of pressure will change no right the air will escape from somewhere or the other unless it's an airtight container then you can do whatever you want inside that airtight container you can increase decrease the pressure but as long as it's open you will see there will be variations in the pressure as per the outside air okay so last question for today coming up on your screen very good question based on vernier caliper which was asked in 2017 let's see how many can actually figure out the value of x in this question very good question uh kushbu it depends so every week's timetable is going to be different so just do one thing you can either rewind the session today and you can check what timetable i gave you this week is going to be on saturday next week it could be something else sometimes you might not have a marathon depends if it's a topic which i can conduct a marathon on all right or else you can check the session pdf in the session pdf all the slides of today's class are also there and you can check the timetable yes alni i agree completely uh bhargav i think you should ask that to uh, you know vazim sir probably he will be the best person to answer that because uh, i'll be planning all the physics related sessions or any uh, sessions specially for your je or boards and all that all right okay so let's start solving this question i hope many of you have already taken the screenshot and have started solving this question so meanwhile let me tell you how to solve this now first of all okay let's think about it there are 10 divisions and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so if you just move this vernier caliper little bit here you will see 10 divisions or i'll just put it here 10 divisions of vernier scale correspond to 9 divisions of main scale just move it around little bit you will understand it okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 this is slightly ahead just move it around so that means one division of vernier scale will be now do not forget main scale one division is 1 mm so nine divisions will be 9 mm so 10 parts that means each part will be 9 by 10 which is nothing but 0.9 mm very very important now just forget the rest and start all your counting from here just start all your counting from here okay every count that i am going to do is going to be from here now to find this x first think how much is this value the first line there are two dotted lines just the first line this is 1 2 3 so this is obviously going to be 3 mm correct this is going to be 3 mm now think now think how much has this moved by how much has this moved by okay how much has this moved by so guys 
from here till here okay from here till here it has moved by this vernier scale correct this vernier scale when it was on this red line it would be zero zero when it moves till here it would be one millimeter but it has moved slightly more ahead so to figure that out check which divisions are coinciding you can check this out so this is nothing but one two three four five so fifth division of vernier scale coincides so if it is coinciding fifth division that means this value over here correct this value that i'm talking about here how much should this value be it should be one plus which division number fifth division so one plus five multiplied by point one because point one will be the least count do not forget the least count will be one minus point nine which is going to be point one millimeters that's the least count of that so it will be basically 1.5 millimeters everyone till this point i hope it is clear i hope everyone is clear till this particular point now from here till here because understand the vernier scale was here before it has moved by 1.5 millimeters now think guys now think how much is this to this how much is this to this each part is 0.9 millimeters remember one division of vernier scale is 0.9 millimeters so there are two divisions so it will be nothing but 2 multiplied by 0.9 which is nothing but 1.8 millimeters correct now think about it the question is find this small gap that x so think about it that x will be from this standard line this plus this this red part plus this green part how much is the red part it is 1.5 correct how much is the green part 1.8 so from here till here minus this part 3 millimeters so that difference will give you the answer just check this out just check this out see if you guys have understood this and this should be 1.5 1.8 that will be 1.3 yes so this was 3 so this should be 0 0.3 three millimeters just check this out this will be 3.3 minus 3 which is 0.3 everyone understood this what a brilliant question just based on plus and minus and the concept of vernier's calipers but a very good question all right epic very good very good clear oh understanding go amazing go excellent very good very good very good so 0.3 millimeters is 0 0.03 centimeters so check the options so if you look at the options the options were like this so 0.3 millimeters will be 0 0.03 centimeters so that's why that's the answer now i'm pretty sure shimon sir yesterday would have told uh, told many of you about the ekalavya batch which we are starting so in case you do not know about it so guys every year we do this what is this ekalavya batch this ekalavya batch is meant for all those students who are in 12th or have taken a draw and want to clear the J Advanced 2021 examination. Last year, I have taught, well, this year, I have obviously taught uh, for the Ekalavya batch. All right. And the next year also, I'm going to be teaching for the Ekalavya batch. Even Shimon sir is going to be there. And, in, and all the amazing teachers, obviously, at Vidantu. And this course is meant so that you can ace your performance in the upcoming J 2021 examination. And guess what, guys, I'll tell you. See, forget all the features. There are very good features. There are test series, there are assignments, there are going to be discussions, there are going to be amazing teachers. Everything is going to be there. But I'll tell you what is the best feature of this. You will be like, sir, yes, it is free of cost. Sir, it is free of cost. Obviously, that's the best feature. No, there is one more feature which is better than that. I'm, bet, I'm betting many of you do not know that. Do you know what is the best feature of this? Uh, Barry, I'm not really sure. Yeah, You have to read the uh, brochure very carefully. Very, very carefully. You have to check it out. So, no, no, no. Ekalave batch is at the end for the final preparation. That jump, that final push you need. So, I'll tell you what is the best feature. Guys, do you know that last year or this year, basically, there was Corona and all the exams got postponed. 
all the exams got postponed correct so from may the exam first got postponed to june then from june it got postponed to august from august then it got postponed to september so uh Kushbu, i'll definitely check hold on i'll check check and Pravinci, this uh the course will be in english and sometimes occasional use of hindi but majorly it will be english okay now the best thing about this guys the exam got postponed but let me tell you the course kept on getting extended and we kept on adding more assignments more assignments more test series to this because we had given a commitment to the students that we are going to do this we didn't say oh we promise you for three months or two months so now it's over now we do not know you anyways this is free of course tata bye bye i don't know you who are you no we didn't do that in fact we taught just before the j advance examination also that's what we did and this is what vedantu stands for many institutes did a lot of students and there are many students from many xyz offline coaching institutes as well on this ekalavya batch because they said sir we were just thrown into the dustbin they use these words so we were just thrown away I mean, nobody cared, nobody bothered about us. There is no clarity on when the classes are, are, there is nothing sure about it. And there is only a special batch only for the toppers and they are taking care of that. We do not know. So guys, don't worry about it. We are going to be there for you. So Bhargav, next year you will be eligible. Don't worry, next year. All right. So guys, we are going to be there for you. And yes, this is free of cost this is free of cost now just to tell you how important this is see guys there are going to be 900 questions in the modules and there are going to be surgical strike assignment which will have 2000 questions five part test series full syllabus there will be 15 plus test series and each of them this is very important each of them will have discussions in detail yes discussions in detail which is very important and special sessions by our very own AP sir and Pulkit sir. Yes, they are going to come time to time just like they did last year for these Ekalavya batches. They will be definitely, see, th what motivation they give, no, sometimes in between, it's very helpful. So guys, their motivation, their, cons their tips that they give for examination is very important. And post-advanced also mentoring. Guys, all of us, all the teachers did counseling for the students after the advanced examination for their branch allocation which institute does that so much for free you tell me one institute i'll be very happy all right so guys we are going to do we are going to do counseling sessions also for all of that understood i hope this is understood so all of this look at the ranks that have been produced last year all india rank 41 and all India rank 43 and 550 plus. It's a big number considering that Vedantu is a relatively new institute in spite of that. Very few institutes do that, guys. Very few institutes. I know there are some institutes. Good institutes are there. I'm not saying Vedantu is the only institute which does that. There are very few institutes who stand by what they say. That's what I'm saying. And Vedantu is also going to stand for that. That's all I'm going to say. I hope this is clear, crazy okay so 550 plus selections and look at the change guys sumit had a mains rank 982 he got all india rank in the pwd category and then dhruv had a rank of 158 advanced rank 43 this is before joining ekalavya this is after joining ekalavya mains rank this is of january understand and this is after completion of ekalavya batch 274, 208, 208, 2133, 227, 445, 177, 731, 41. Look at that. So much of change. Look at that. So much of change. In this Ekalavya batch, this is meant exactly for all the dropper and the, you know, 12 standard students. So, it's a big thing, guys. I can give you many more examples. It's all there in front of you. We are a very transparent system. We keep every result open. So, you can check it out anytime. So crazy, the pro is basically your 
all regular pro classes, crash courses, test series, micro courses, assignments, etc. Ekalavya batch has an entrance test and then you have to be uh, in 12th or in droppers batch only then or a dropper basically only then you can enter into the Ekalavya batch. All right. So a lot of student names are there. You can watch it later on. So who is eligible? Anyone who would be appearing for J Advance 2021 and uh, you can obviously promote this. You can tell it to your friends or relatives in case they are interested. And you have to give this test on January 3rd, January 7th and January 10th. Very, very important. Very, very important. These are the three dates on which this entrance will be conducted. And you have to fill the uh, link, which is again uh, there probably in the description box. And it would have been also shared in yesterday's session. So this is a form link. You have to fill it up. And the January 3rd, January 7th and January 10th. These are the dates when the entrance test will be conducted. These are the only ways of entering into the Ekalavya batch. Yes, every year you are going to have it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Every year you are going to have it. Don't worry. This has been running from last many years. Okay. So guys, do not forget to join the Telegram group. We'll be sharing all the links and details of this Ekalavya batch on the Telegram group as well. So guys, the link for Telegram group is there in the description box below. And if you enjoyed today's session, do not forget to hit the like button. And if you are relatively new, then do not forget to hit the subscribe button down there. All right. What a lovely session. What a lovely session, guys. Minions, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow for SHM session. All right. So take care, guys. Bye bye. Have fun. Keep learning and keep seeing you again and again. Bye bye. This was Shreyas here.